Michael no go sleep. Because the premonition that will not only become the street king. But I will die young like my father. Why for lie? Why for lie? Why is it lie? It's a jungle. Everyone does what they must to survive. The rules of the streets were simple. It was the best of times in Zalego, but nothing would last long. It's the kings are never buried alone. I'm the man already. Man already. I'm the man done ready. I'm the One day, the eyes will open to their power, and there will be no hiding place for the wicked. How? A million and one people willing to die for a cause they know absolutely nothing about. Kadara, destiny. Who decides where we are born? Hello everyone, welcome to yet another time with me. Um, <laughs> my name is Chacha Wabara. Today we'll be reviewing the movie Gangs of Lagos. It was it premiered on the 7th of April 2023. It made a whole lot of noise and uh, it was such a huge success. I was thinking, I'm thinking that, you know, with the noise it created on social media, you know, everyone, you know, everyone went agog with uh, Gangs of Lagos. This is the second week and I'm not hearing much. Um, perhaps it has to do with um, some group of people coming up to say the movie was kind of like an insult to, you know, some culture or what, 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 but not my business. As I'm aware, this is not based on a true life story. It's just woven around fiction. So the notion of you know, the, the opinion, I would say, not even the notion, the opinion, you know, um, of some group of people saying that the movie is um, geared towards pulling them down or, you know, it is derogatory and all of that should not even suffice in the first place. But that aside, Gangs of Lagos, I, 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 w I did not want to, you know, talk about it last week. I wanted to see it and, um, <laughs> you know, digest it. Apart from digesting it, just see what other people are talking about, are saying about it. And um, also... Because of Gangs of Lagos, I was forced to renew my subscription with um, Prime Video. I really, it's not, uh, Prime Video is not um, a service I really would readily, you know, sub to um, under the most circumstances. But because when I went online to, you know, um, watch it, to download it and watch it, I wasn't really getting the um, English um, subtitling. Uh, so it, I, I tried, I, I, you know, I tried unsuccessfully to get it, but I couldn't. So I had to go sub um, the, um, the Prime Video service. So um, for those of us who have seen it, for those of you who have seen it, I hope you had fun watching it. And um, just in case you're wondering what this... Um, Inner Space is all about what we do at Movie Reviews and if, if um, that is what you want to say, do hit on the subscribe button, you know, turn up your post notifications to be alerted when more videos come your way. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you to my, you know, returning subscribers, to my new subbies. You came in here by mistake. Whatever, just welcome. So now, Gangs of Lagos is uh, a wonderful story. Um, one that, due to the noise about it, I really wanted to see what it was about. It had um, Tony um, back back Ray as a balola. It had um, Chike as Ify, Adesuatami as Gift. It had um, 
um, Bimbo Ademoye as a Tenny, and um, a host of other actors and actresses like Wasio Alabi was London, um, a kingpin. And um, it had Tony Abraham, it had Choma Chikuka, who was the mother of Ifi. Not so much as the noise, you know, it created. It was the it was the trailer. I think the part where I saw Choma Chikuka, you know, wailing and mourning for her son who had died in um, in a very violent way. It was touching. It was it was gripping. It was something that I was like, okay, if it was if it is like this, you know, I I better just you know pop in and see what this movie is all about and then i went on to tweet i went to twitter and then instagram and then you know the web everyone is talking about gangs of lagos i'm like okay so i'm late to the party but let me just see what's up with it and here goes gangs of lagos has to be done with all this and you know some parts of lagos you would call it saleko um kind of like um the ghetto like the main place, the main, now we, we get town kind of place where everybody got to know you, everybody got to see you, everybody got to recognize you and know your roots or how you take home, you know, that kind of thing. It's like the, 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 the underworld village of everyone, so to say. So if... Um, you are someone in the underworld and nobody knows you in that place, you know, it, it, it will really be very difficult for you to gain momentum in whatever it is you are doing. So, um, Gangs of Lagos is wonderful. I will not begin to tell you or narrate um, the whole story. I need you, I would encourage you to watch it yourself so that you can really understand where I'm coming from. But it has to do with, you know, Godfather bringing Godfather, um, you know, children growing up and not knowing any other life apart from that ghetto life, that criminal ghetto life, and it being just the only option that they have, you know, so to say, and um, struggling in that quagmire. It has to do with, you know, I think this is like a Nigerian version of um, the tug life, the ghetto life in the U.S. Kind of, you know, if you get what I mean. It is a story. Of, it, it was really action packed. It was suspense filled. It was intriguing. It was, ah, it was breathtaking. Uh, <laughs> what I found funny was... Um, um, at this, uh, 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 was at this one, Tommy um, Wellington. She, she's beginning to lose that funkified thing she usually applies to, you know, normal get to like kind of movies. You know, where you need to be have you know show nitty gritty. She's beginning to lose it because like she 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 used to have this intense Aja boyish kind of thing so i you know i was curious to see how she was going to interpret her role in this movie and she she did try you know if she was a two over ten in interpreting that kind of role she has she you know she came up to his to a six seven over ten in interpreting that role and bringing out the craziness and bringing out the integrity and you know letting loose you know letting go well enough to you know grab the attention of the viewers without people saying you know like what to be this kind of thing so it was wonderful the other person that i liked watching was ify oh it was such a huge pity that ify died and it, the way he died was crazy you know it was it was it was it was a story that you know, had fragments and had um, explanations to um, reasons why this is being done in the movie. 
um, a place that also made me, you know, the effects in the movie was such that I wondered, you know, it was painstakingly done. It was, it was brilliant. The movie is such a brilliant movie. Yes, we, we have the storyline. The storyline is like Shanty Town is like, you know, so many other movies about gangs that we have all over the place. But, you know, get me here. The movie, you know, concentrated on the individual um, you know, individual capabilities of the actors and the actresses that came to play in this movie. And then the effects that were applied in this movie was such that would leave no stone unturned, was such that would drive home the expected reaction that, you know, I'm sure the producers, the, 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 the director, what was expecting from the audience, from the viewers, it, 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 like the body of Ify when he was, you know, when they kept on butchering him and the body of um, that first um, godfather of um, Obalola, Gift and Ify, that guy, it, 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 it was, you know, especially when they put him in the wheelbarrow, ah, it was the normal way they usually bring dead bodies local Niger scenario. So there was no, there was no um, kid gloves. All the kid gloves were off and it was, you know, take it or leave it. This is it. This is how we do it in this place kind of thing. So I'm saying that Gangs of Lagos is not supposed to be just um, a two hour movie, two hour plus movie. It is supposed to be a TV drama because it had all the ingredients or it could even be a limited series because it was too good to end. Yeah, it was too good to end the way it did. I'm even, you know, when if he died and the war broke out, I was expecting uh, Obalola to die or Adesua or, um, you know, the baby mama of Ifi or something because it was, they were giving us near death experiences. There's no, there was no one that was left untouched. There was no one that did not suffer, you know, from the events that kept on unfolding. It was a story and a tale true and true told according, you know, to the way the actors were moving. There was no one that was out of sync. It takes, you know, actors and actresses that understand what they want to give, how they want to give it, and follow the instructions to the letter. Like, you know, that kind of thing, like, I want to be on screen, I want to be on screen, I have five or six movies to churn out, or I have five or six locations to be at, you know, so I have to just do this and go, no, 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 no. I suspect that the actors and actresses in this movie were given time to bond, were given time to... You know, leave this experience. I'm not shocked that Tony, that I'm sorry, that um, um, I'm not shocked that. Hold on a minute. I can just keep um, I'm mixing his name up. I'm not sure that Toby Bakery, you know, uh, uh, was you know, he wasn't lying. I'm not saying he's lying. He wasn't lying when he said. You know, they had to. He had to drink, and they had to. He had to go to the you know cemetery. A graveyard you know to act out some scenes in that would not be far from the truth because a lot of time extreme effort was put into this movie the movie is not one that you can just say ah obi got up one day obi now went there and obi now saw this and obi now saw that and that now happened you know it it, it, it took the appearance of excellent and brilliant actresses I am not seeing most of the cast, but I know, just a minute, I know this lady, um, Iabojo. Iabojo was the epitome of a mom um, <laughs> who didn't want her son to fall by the wayside, but, you know, had her own set ways on how she wanted to achieve that and was, um, you know, stoic and to the point and um you know if you don't get me if you won't get with me then don't get with me kind of um uh, mom you know it, it, she gave it the realistic way you would see a lot of moms in the ghetto or a lot of moms who are uninformed who are illiterate you know and who are spiritually <laughs> you know i don't even know what to call them you know but 
yeah, you have their spiritual beliefs in the way they have those spiritual beliefs and how they want to carry out those spiritual, you know, beliefs and understanding onto their children, onto the family members or anybody that comes their way. She projected that role to the T. She was so good. <laughs> the boy that acted a little or monolith, I think is part of this um, children crew that do this, um, that um, do this um, remaking of... Well, can't remember boy yeah the guy was good the little boy was so good so so good the little obalola was wonderful little gift was wonderful as well little if he i've seen him in um this sickle cell um movie that i have that i um, reviewed at some point in time yeah you know these children really went so far it did so well. I'm so shocked this movie is a Nigerian movie. Well, like, like it is wonderful. It is amazing. The capturing, the picture quality, the capturing of, you know, that traffic field infested <laughs> Lagos men land side, you know, where you can't put your leg. If it's Nigeria, they say, you know, go foot put leg inside that kind of place. You know, that kind of thing. And then the role of, um, what's her name again? What's her name again? Name that they took her bag. I'll, I'll put it on the screen later, and um, I I will come back to Choma Potter's rule. Choma Potter's rule was pivotal, pivotal to the <clears throat> success of this movie. It, it it was what molded the emotion of the movie. It would have been any kind of movie. See, there's some actors and actresses that mourn on TV. And um, you just say, yeah, that's the role of a mom. And it goes. But Choma Apota's role and her projection of that pain, of that, that, that loss, was enough to bring out tears. You know, to my eyes and to a lot, and, and to that of a lot of people, I'll say, because it, it, it was so full. It made you feel like it was real. Realness of that emotion was felt as Choma Apota, you know, stood and you she didn't eulogize her son. She cried. She wept from her being, from her soul. Ah, <sighs> it was a movie I, you know, I enjoyed watching. It was a movie that. I, after I was done watching, I I was I was it was a pity that the movie ended because I would have loved a continuation, you know, to keep going on and on and on. You know, that's what the movie did for me. The the sound was great, the cinematography was awesome, the picture quality was amazing. Even when drones were used, you wouldn't know. Everything was done precisely, you know. For those who are in Lagos who know the terrain properly, you would see the inside the streets gone. You know, you would see those. Ah, ah. I had this nostalgic feeling when I was watching this movie. You know, like man, this is home. This is Ninja. The Ninja we know, right? You know, it was it was amazing. But catch this. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the movie. Don't get me wrong, right? Don't get me wrong. Don't start shooting. Let me shoot the messenger. Um, how? <laughs> yes, we know that they had a plan. Um, they went in there. They started shooting and all of that. And when Kazim was almost going to take um, Obalola's life, um, Gift came in and saved Obalola's life, right? And they fought and, you know, killed Kazim. Great. Awesome. Now, there is um, Bimba Demoye, Tenny, looking up and seeing that um, these two people, her best friends, were responsible for her father's death. That's on the one end. Yeah? And then on the other end, how did Obalola gather everyone? You get, what, you, get, you, get, you get where I'm coming from? How did he gather everyone to become that person who is now the Oloru, Oloru something? Don't know what they were calling it, yeah? How did he become that? 
you know, because there were a lot of people ahead of him. So even if London was there, there was also this guy, and then there were also some sub people who were also there. So how did how did Obalola jump those ranks and become the, the person that was now communicating and that um, Tony Abraham was in league with? You know, I just found it a bit um, suspicious. Not suspicious. I just found it a bit not confusing. I found it a bit sketchy because. This is what we're doing. So where where is this thing? Where is he living? You're supposed to live inside the Saliko or what? You know, to be abreast with the situation, the things, the current situation happening on ground. So where is he? Is it Banana Island? No, it can't be Banana Island. Is it after the beach or where? So it was, I think it was sketchy and I hope it was sketchy for a good reason. There will be um, a, continu a continuation, uh, it will be converted to a, mi a mini series or a limited series, whatever the case may be. But, um, right now, I'll be rating it a 10 over 10. It has to be a 10 over 10 because it was awesome. I don't know, I don't know what plans people have or groups, various interest groups have, um, uh, in these gangs of Lagos, but I would say it's one of the most brilliant movies that I've, you know, I've graced, that has graced my screen in the recent years. Yes, it is amazing. It was thoughtfully scripted and acted out and, um, and acted out. And, um, if you haven't seen it, please don't hesitate to go see it. Uh, <laughs> and let me know what you think about it in the comment section up there you see my korean movie review you see my chinese movie review my nigerian movie review and then again my movie reviews i want to thank you so very much for doing this with me i'll see you next time till i come your way don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed bye bye take care love you bye yeah